Hello everyone, Dan Hendrickson here. We're at St Melian Estates here today and I thought I'd bring you up onto the range just to have a little go with my brother Paul on shaping drivers. Now, this is an area of the game that lots of people struggle with. They tend to have one particular shape that they like to hit, but then trying to move the ball the other way can then become a little bit of a challenge. So I thought we'd pick Paul's brain today. Paul is probably one of the straightest drivers of the golf ball that I've ever played with. However, he can move it both ways depending on the shot that's kind of faced with him on the golf course. Now, it's a real golf experience, so this might not be the most textbook way of doing it, but it's just Paul's way of doing it, which might be able to help you with your game. If you are new to this channel and you like what you're seeing, please hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and please comment on this video. Let's head over to the range here at St Melian, catch up with Paul and see how he moves that golf ball with his driver. Now I've put you under a lot of pressure here mm -hmm. because I've said that you are probably one of the straightest drivers of the golf ball. Mm. You do, I mean, it's like frozen rope stuff. When I see Sometimes. you hit the ball and I'm drawing in the shot tracers, mm. it's pretty straight. It's pretty straight. However, we're not here to talk about straight shots. We're here to talk about curving the ball. Okay. And not with just any club, but the driver. Mm -hmm. Now, I've said that lots of people do struggle with this, and it's generally that they find that they've got their normal shape. But what do you do? Um, so generally, I've been a drawer, it's like a slight drawer of the ball, but I'm moving towards a fade, not necessarily intentional, but I have made swing some swing changes, which have now resulted in it certainly being more neutral, if anything, more left to right with a driver. Okay. So I'm finding those an intentional left to right shot a lot easier at the moment than I am in a right to left shot. So yeah, it kind of changes, but I'm, I'm quite neutral. So my draws haven't been big draws in the past. They've always been just a little bit. So yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm quite lucky that I'm quite neutral really with it. Now, I would say that you're not the most emotional golfer out there. So what I mean by that is that you, like for me, I get really up and down with my emotions as I go around, around as does Leicester. Mm -hmm. So when I get onto a hole, even though I'll see a shot with a hole, I'll still go with what I f what feels right to me. Okay. With you, you're you're a little bit more precise in what you're doing. So you'll 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 see that see the hole and you'll work the work the ball depending on the type of shot that that is required for that hole. Does that make sense? I do, but I also factor in what I'm what sort of shot I'm hitting at the at the, at the time. So okay. if I'm fading it better or drawing it better, I'll you'll tend hit to, to that favor shot. that unless yeah. I have to do the other. The other shot then I, I will do it obviously but yeah yeah it depends what depends what's going on at the time and how you're hitting it at the time okay so let's start off with a draw okay yeah so let's talk through and then let's go through the actual shot itself what are you going to do slightly differently in your swing when you're setting up for a draw shot what are you trying to change Two, two things you need to change to, to get the ball to curve, and that is the path and the face angle at impact. Okay. So, um, to do the path, I just do change my alignment. So where I'm aiming, my stance and my shoulders, etc. Yeah. That's the first thing I change, and, and that will change the path. Okay. And then to change the face angle that comes at impact, that's more of a dynamic thing that I do. So I change that via... Um, how my body and arms work together. Okay. So to hit a draw, I'll tend to slow my body down, which then results in my hands taking over and turning and shutting down the club face more at impact. If I want to hit a fade, I tend to speed up my body and try and let my hands hang back, which then keeps the face more open on the way through. Okay, so that is some, I would say that's for someone that practices a lot. I mean, someone like yeah. you who hits lots of balls yeah. or certainly has done in mm -hmm. the past, um, hitting, hitting fades, hitting draws is done from practice. Whereas some people that don't get a chance to practice, mm -hmm. so people that work full time and then only get to play at weekends, what are the main things that they need to focus on? Uh, well, they need to find what works for them. I mean, that, that's, that's what works for me. That's yeah. not how everybody does it. Um, a lot of people tend to preset the face angle, so they'll 
either grip it differently or they'll hood the face or open the face address to yeah. try and compensate for that. But I've always found that if I hood it, I'm naturally going to try and open it on the way through. Just, okay. It's just an instinct of mine. Yeah. So um, I found that's what works best for me. So, you know, it's I would just get out there, practice it and find out, you know, go hit works shaping some shots on the range. Yeah. Um, put a few obstacles in the way hit around some trees or something yeah and um, and just find out what works best for you but the main focus is for a draw shot that we're trying to hit now you're going to work the ball or work the club more into out with the path with a club yeah, face and I'm that's, not, that's I'm not kind actively kind of trying them. to change the path no I'm just so I'm not changing how my swing goes I'm just changing my aim which okay. then is changing the path if I keep my normal path it's going to change that um, on, on, on the numbers so okay. that's that's why I would do rather than trying to feel like you're swinging it inside or outside just do your normal swing but just change your path via your, your aim perfect right talk us through it show us how you're going to do it then Paul okay so it's nice of you to give me a left to right win yeah apologies for that and I'm fading the ball at the moment so this is going to be a tough shot trying to hit this right to left is tough for me at the moment yep so but I'll try my best so I might need to exaggerate things just okay. to, do it. Yeah, to get not? that to to actually to draw move. against this wind yeah so uh, if we're going out there, I'm probably going to start aiming myself. I'm going to try and exaggerate. So I'm going to go 20, 30 yards right with the aim yep. of where I want it to go. So that's all I'm going to do with that. So it's just the stance. Hopefully my shoulders will follow suit. Yep. And then all I'm going to feel then, so to change the face angle, I'm going to feel like my, my body is not opening as quick on the way through. So it's kind of getting a bit lazy. Yep. And what will happen then is my arms will take over and kind of and flip. naturally release yeah. the club face a yeah. little bit more so we'll see, see how we get on yeah perfect just a L subtle little draw little yeah draw, there's yeah. a little bit of shape there a little bit um noticeably though the ball flight came out a lot lower there mm -hmm. is that that's kind of would you say that's kind of normal it will do because the club face is shutting down so okay. If you keep it, if you close it, yeah, it kind of it de-lofts it. it. Takes loft and if off. You, the if you open well. it, it as loft. So um, that's why it's going to come out a bit lower for a draw. Okay, definitely. Um, right, let's go for the fade shot then yep. this time. Let's see what what you can do slightly differently to hit that shot. So yeah, so opposite. I'm going to aim myself again 20, 30 yards left of target. It depends yep. how much you want it to curve. Yep. So. The more you aim left, you know, in, in the theory, more the then path you're going to move curve more out to in. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to aim this 20, 30 yards left, and then I'm just going to feel like my body really takes over, and my arms are going to be a bit more lagging. Okay. So they're not. There's not as much release in the yep. shot. Oh, easy. Yeah. So I can. I can hit that shot easily at the moment. Yeah, I can see the that. The other yeah. one is a bit of a... But again, the opposite of, of what you got with that shot is a lot more height. You get a lot more height. A and lot will more do height. Because you're, you are adding loft to the club. So somebody who fades the ball would generally have lower loft than somebody who draws the ball, really, yeah. because, because they're opening or shutting the face down in that way. So, yeah. Just a couple of different ways of doing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I was really keen to share with you this video because... There are so many ways in which we play golf. And for Paul, he is very much a feel golfer. He's somebody that has practiced an awful lot on the range, hitting golf balls and then taking them to tournaments, to big tournaments and succeeding with it. Now, that might not be the most textbook way of hitting those shapes and those shots, but it's a way in which Paul does it and it might just work for you. And I want you to have a little play with it if you struggle with this department. Shaping shots is a bit of an art. It's something that you have to work on. It's something that you have to work with somebody on to help you achieve them. Maybe measuring your numbers a little bit as well. Paul works with Trackman an awful lot to get his numbers absolutely right. But ultimately you need to make sure that your path is moving in a certain direction and your face is pointing in a slightly different direction to that path in order to get the shape that you're trying to get. But I'd like to hear what you do. Is this something that you work on yourself? Is it something that you don't work on and it's something you might have a little go at and work with with your coach? I'd like to hear in the comments section. Don't forget, if you are new to the channel and you like these videos, hit that subscribe button, give us a like, make sure you comment because YouTube loves that and it does help the channel. 
I will see you all again very soon. Thanks for watching.